Hi, and welcome to Behind the Music Desk. I'm Nick, one of the music staffers, and I'm here with two other music staffers, and we're going to be talking about the four songs you heard on news this week. I'm Gabe. I'm Ben. And our first song is Nighttime Girls by The Districts, which I'm super excited that we picked because they're from my hometown. Um, they're from Lidditz, Pennsylvania. They represent. <laughs> yeah, man. Lidditz. Got pretzels. Did I say it right? Lidditz? Lidditz? Yeah. 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 Um, nice. It's classic district sound. They got the nice, like, filtered vocals and the grungy guitar. It's, like, kind of spooky a little bit. It's, like, kind of yell singing. Yeah, <laughs> no, I love it. It's very, like, filtered vocals with kind of, like, that, like, surf rock sound, but yeah. the vocals kind of add something to it that's almost, like, ominous and kind of mm-hmm. spooky. It's it, it's a really interesting song. Yeah, I feel like it's mixed really well, but it doesn't take, it doesn't make it feel, like, polished or mm-hmm. any less, like, angsty or energetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it has just did that, a good like, job mixing classic it. grunge, but almost that, like, techno with it as well. Yeah. The sound's, like, straight out the guitars. Like, it's just straight out of an amp. But, yeah. like, they have that, like, extra, like, singing, like, mid sound in the background to fill it out. Yeah. I just, I love the districts, so I'm excited that they're still going. Yeah, no, they're great. Oh, yeah. All right, next up we have Thanks for Nothing by Nilla Fryanya, and I love her. She's a London-based singer. She's 22. She started performing when she was 18. Like, mm. she just grew up in, like with her parents listening to, like, very interesting, like, Turkish music, classic jazz, Simon and Garfunkel, just really eclectic mix of music. But she's grown into this mature artist at such a young age where she focuses mainly on the guitar, and she has another song, Baby Love, that's similar to this, where it's just very subtle, but it, it's like builds up into something that's so beautiful. Her voice is incredible, and she's a great guitar player, and it's just an incredible song. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What you said about the simplicity, there's so much like space in mm-hmm. the track, and it's basically driven by the guitar and like the drum machine beat, and that beat's only there like sometimes, mm-hmm. which I just think it takes talent to write a song that moves along without anything other than just a guitar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally agree, especially the fact that it's so... Um, it's not like sampled or chopped up or anything, yeah. but it actually just propels forward. It's very natural. naturally, yeah. yeah. Really, that's really and up next we have Relay Runner by Loma. Really good song in my opinion. I'm so glad we got this on here on news. Um, really great smooth vocal from Loma here, with a more jagged, kind of eerie and unsettling production, but I think it makes such a cool combo. Sounds like negative things, but this makes for an amazing song. And to me, songs that on paper don't make a lot of sense or sound kind of awful, but then turn out to be amazing, those are like my favorite songs. And those ah, those are the songs I keep coming back to. Yeah. The beat that is at the beginning, like the little synthesizer, yeah. like it, it, it's interesting. You kind of feel like you're just kind of like bobbing up and down, and then the vocals come in and really add something to it. That It's such a simple, like, synthesized production, but like that singing just really like propels the song forward and it makes it like like blend together like smooth yeah smoothly it's very polished but it doesn't feel like it should be yeah it's so it's so cool it's just like i don't know this this song occupies like this weird like eerie space for me yeah like you don't really know where you are in the song at different points which is cool Mm -hmm. it's a real step away from like really structured like Eight bar intro, and then yeah. you got the hook and the verse. It's like it, it, it's operating on a whole different wavelength. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. I the I don't want to be the negative guy. Go but for like, it. The beat at the beginning, just like the bass that's just like up and down mm-hmm. the whole time. It feels like like the island of misfit toys, like marching along. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's something about that. Like it's definitely unsettling, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. I but... couldn't. I couldn't get down to it. Yeah, and, and that's so fair. sorry. No, that's fair. That's how we're coming on behind the music desk. You know, we're gonna come, we're gonna come authentic. We're gonna tell you how we really feel about this stuff. Handpicked music. Yeah. And lastly, we have Nicotine's famous "Honey" with "Pull Up." Love this song. Love this group. Amazing female lead. This song has a lot of doo-wop influences. Their new project, An Open Letter, is amazing. There's elements of spoken word, R&B, jazz, blues, neo soul hip hop like even like a surf rock feel also it's there's they do everything there's only seven songs on it but pull up is amazing yeah stand no, up for it sure. kind of reminds me of like if michael buble was like a very like indie r&b artist <laughs> if that makes sense like, if you, like it, it's very interesting to me like how they make this work yeah like, it, it's it's a really great song very light-hearted very like it's like summery kind of it's, it's a great song I think that her vocals really add to it and then the light, like the light is 
the instruments in general. It's like a really sweet song, and then like the vocals mixing with the instrumental so well. They all have kind of that same like sweet tone to it, like the little like charm. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And the halftime beat in the middle mm -hmm. was so good. Because, like, it doesn't seem like a song that would have a halftime beat, but they they come in with it, and it doesn't, like, hit really hard like other halftime beats do. It just, like, kind of sneaks in there. Yeah. But it gives it a nice, like, slow for a second. I remember doing that one. That's a It's a very sweet song. Yeah, very lovely. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see them get more credit for what they're doing, too. And I love that we have that song on here for that. Absolutely. Nicotine's famous, honey. Check them out. <laughs> All right. Well, that was our uh, Behind the Music Test for the week. Tune in next week for more 7 o'clock news.